Main Street Hub is um, the company that connects great local businesses with their customers. We do everything for them on social media that they should be doing, managing their Facebook pages, Twitter, Yelp, Google Places, Foursquare, TripAdvisor, you name it. Um, we do all the work so they can focus on what they do best. When we started Main Street Hub, it wasn't Main Street Hub. It was a different company that was geared towards helping auto mechanics uh, find customers online. And we heard from them over and over again that uh, they were concerned with taking advantage of the opportunities in social media and on the customer review websites. And also they didn't have the time or the interest to be doing that on their own. So if there were some kind of service or product that could provide them with um, a solution to the challenges facing them online and the opportunities they could gain online. And if that service could uh, do all the work for them, they were really excited about that. In having those conversations with them, we learned of the much greater opportunity to serve not just auto mechanics, but also local businesses generally who have those same concerns. The lesson that we learned very early on, that is the lesson that I still uh, give to anyone who cares to know, really try to ship early and sell the product early because you can stay in a room with a whiteboard and draw all the fantasies you want on the wall. The question is, do your clients, do your customers really want what you're building? And you're not gonna learn that in, until you go out there and ask customers to pay for the service that you're trying to provide. Though we currently offer a social media management product, I don't think that that's all we'll do in the future uh, because new platforms evolve behaviors change, and to stay current and to keep our clients current, we'll need to evolve as well. So we see ourselves growing in social and growing outside of social. Um, basically, whatever we need to do to put our local business clients where their customers are, we're going to do that. One of the most amazing parts about the growth we've experienced over the last year is in our uh, town hall meetings, which started out in Austin 10 people, 20 people uh, huddled around a small corner of the room, and now it's a video conference with New York and San Francisco, and uh, we have 100 people who are on the line asking questions, um, updating each other on their progress. It's truly amazing to see a team like that grow in the course of a year and to see that culture develop and start to sustain itself. We chose to locate in Austin because it's a great startup hub. It has um, fantastic product and engineering talent, design talent. It's a really creative city, and for our business, that's very important. The community is so open and so interested in helping each other that we were pretty quickly introduced to a lot of people around town who took an interest in us because they wanted to see the city succeed. Downtown is such a vibrant place. It's a great uh, area for being able to walk down the street and meet um, advisors, uh, potential investors, um, potential employees and colleagues. I think Austin in 10 years is going to be a very different place than it is right now and I think it'll be different in, in all good ways, I hope. The university is going to be the hub of entrepreneurial activity, I think, in the city and downtown will be where uh, the companies that are growing out of the university and coming to Austin will locate and I think that there's so much potential and they're it's already been realized but I think there's a long way to go too and I want to be as much of an evangelist as possible for what's here especially having come from California